On July 26th, news outlets around the world reported that Irish singer Sinead O'Connor had died at the age of 56. Two years before her passing, O'Connor was hit with some devastating news when she learned that her son had died by suicide at the age of 17. Before his death, Shane Lunny had been on suicide watch at Talla Hospital in Dublin, Ireland, but was reported missing, according to Irish Central. The following day, he was found dead. O'Connor tweeted at the time, My beautiful son, Naveem Nesta Ali Shane O'Connor, the very light of my life, decided to end his earthly struggle today and is now with God. May he rest in peace and may no one follow his example. My baby, I love you so much. Please be at peace. The days that followed would be some of the hardest of O'Connor's life. About one week later, Shane was laid to rest at Newlands Cross Cemetery in West Dublin. After the memorial service, O'Connor took to social media to share her thoughts. She wrote, We just said goodbye to our beautiful angel Shaney. Very lovely Hindu ceremony, Shane will have loved it. She went on to add that she buried him with some cigarettes in case they weren't available to him in heaven. In the time that followed, things didn't get much easier for her. Although she didn't consistently share her thoughts and feelings on social media, she did post a response to a tweet that asked for people to express how life is going by way of emoji. On July 17th, O'Connor tweeted a string of crying face emoji, along with the hashtag, lost my 17-year-old son to suicide in 2022. She also included an old photo of her and Shane hugging. She wrote, been living as undead night creature since. He was the love of my life, the lamp of my soul. We were one soul in two halves. He was the only person who ever loved me unconditionally. I am lost in the bardo without him." Many Twitter users commented on the post at the time, letting O'Connor know that she wasn't alone throughout this dark period of her life. Following her death, additional comments on the post have shown up, many Twitter users leaving their condolences for another life taken too soon. Hers. One person tweeted, I hope you know how loved you were. Another Twitter user wrote, I'm so sorry to hear that you have gone to be with Shane. May you find peace together and in the next life to come. O'Connor did her best to prioritize her mental health over the years. In an interview with Dr. Phil, she told him how she didn't think of herself as mentally ill. Are you mentally ill? I don't believe I am, no. Unless you say that complex post-traumatic stress disorder is a mental illness. However, in addition to complex post-traumatic stress disorder, she was eventually diagnosed with bipolar disorder and borderline personality disorder, according to People magazine. She told the publication in 2021, "'You can never predict what might trigger the PTSD. I describe myself as a rescue dog. I'm fine until you put me in a situation that even slightly smells like any of the trauma I went through. Then I flip my lid.'" Her feelings of sadness only increased after losing her son, so much so that she needed to step away from performing. In 2022, O'Connor released a statement announcing her decision to cancel any and all upcoming shows for the year due to continuing grief over the tragic loss of her beloved son Shane, according to NME. The statement read in part, This has not been an easy decision for Sinead, but a decision she has had to make for her own health and well-being at this time. We would like to extend our thanks and appreciation to Sinead's worldwide agency ICM who have handled this with the utmost respect and dignity and have worked tirelessly. O'Connor's cause of death has not been revealed. She is survived by her three kids, Jake Reynolds, Roisin Waters, and Yeshua Bonadio. If you or anyone you know is having suicidal thoughts, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline by dialing 988.